Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be talking about tactical pants and actually just one in specific, though I'm gonna be touching on kind of some points that uh, apply to all the tactical pants that I wear, I guess. Uh, this is a video that's been kind of a long time coming. Uh, people ask me all the time, what pants are those? What pants are those? Can you do a review on pants? Can you tell us about pants? Pants, 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 pants. Um, and I like pants, so, you know, whatever. Uh, I wear a lot of tactical pants, not like the super, super over tactical ones that are all like D-rings and nylon straps, grab handles hanging off, all that stuff. I, don't, I, I wear some of those. I mean, I have some cry precision pants with knee pads. You see me wearing these other ones, Emerson's actually, uh, my Woodland ones, and I, I get tactical for sure. But uh, in the normal day-to-day, -day, I wear tactical pants, but the ones that aren't so tactical. Um, and these ones, the 511 Ridgelines, meet that criteria, so I'm just gonna start off with them. I'm not gonna be talking about all my tactical pants though if this video is well received maybe I'll review different models and different styles and different brands and all that kind of stuff but for now the 511 Ridgelines uh, these were provided to me by Optics Planet as you guys probably most of you know I am a brand brand ambassador for them uh, and it's good because they don't just sell optics they sell knives and pants and flashlights and all that kind of stuff so I can request things from them that fit what I'm looking for. So these are them. Uh, Optics Plan, I'll put a link down in the description below. I have a coupon code, all that good stuff. So check the uh, video description for that. And let's just get into it. All right, we'll start off here with a nice little crotch shot. Uh, these are the Storm color, Storm I think, gray. I think they have like five or six different colors uh, and you know I like gray so these are the ones I have they have ripstop nylon and they're kind of stretchy so the material is a little bit stretchy and that's one of the main things I like about some of these uh, newer 511s there's a, there's a couple other brands out there making stretchy pants too um, they're not overly stretchy but as you bend and twist and do everything they don't get caught up they don't feel like they're gonna rip they just kind of move with you and that's that, that's one of the main things I like about tactical pants is just that they're comfortable and they're good for doing stuff and kind of all my pants are work pants uh, I don't really like well I have pants that are like hardcore work pants or painting pants or whatever but I'll, I'll, I'll do stuff in these pants if I, if I wear these to work I'll come back and do whatever I need to in these sometimes I work out in these I do a lot of stuff in uh, tactical pants all the time so being able to move with me is important um, and these ones are great so they're kind of a stretchy fabric fabric like I said uh, they have a gusseted crotch and for those who don't, you, you've probably heard that term in tactical pants or other pants. Gusseted crotch just means that there is a um, extra kind of piece of fabric underneath here so that you don't have four seams all meeting in one point, being bulky and whatever. Um, it's a little more ergonomic and a little more comfortable. Um, so these are gusseted kind of, gusseted all the way down the leg though. So I kind of have this internal stripe that's not really noticeable, but if you look at it, it is. So gusseted crotch all the way down helps with comfort. Um, they also have articulated knees here, so stitching and stitching. So what that means is the pant naturally is going to lend itself better to angled, uh, bent over performance, that kind of stuff, rather than just your typical straight leg pant. Um, having said that, being straight, uh, straight legged pant is uh, fine too. Uh, and let's get into pockets. The other main reason I like tactical pants is because pockets, because organization, because separation of things. If you've watched any of my videos, uh, you know, EDC backpack, EDC, truck EDC, all that EDC is like kind of the, the word of the day here, I guess. Um, it's all organization, compartmentalization. I like it. Um, so being able to put different things in different pockets is great. I don't like dumping all my things in one pocket. Um, so these have great organizational pockets. What you'll notice or won't notice is that they don't have cargo pockets like a lot of tactical pants. And you know, I don't, I, I'm, I don't mind that. Uh, there is rare occasions that I use cargo pants or cargo pockets in my pants and if I have them, great, and if not, whatever. So these don't have them, but I don't hardly ever use cargo pockets. So I'd rather them not have cargo pockets personally because I just don't use them and they look kinda whatever, cargo pockets, cargo pants. Uh, but they do have other pockets here. So you'll notice here they have two front pockets. Um, and these aren't the best design pockets. There's not a perfect tactical pan out there and these aren't them either, but they're pretty good. Um, so we have two pockets in the front and everything is symmetrical. So if I'm showing you something on one side, it's exactly the same on the other side. There's no asymmetric pockets or anything on these pants. It's all the same. So over here, I have a lot of stuff in my pockets. And one of the main reasons I started getting into tactical pants was because uh, well, when I was wearing jeans, eventually it became weird to wear baggy jeans and 
you would have to wear skinnier jeans, not skinny jeans like a hipster, but skinnier jeans because you're wearing baggy jeans. It's like, what's up? So you started getting skinnier jeans um, and they're really tight around the thighs for me. Um, I don't have massive thighs, but I squat, you know, I have decently muscular thighs and to get jeans that are tight enough Overall, the thighs are so tight and I just feel oh, awkward. So the tactical pants were a little baggier there, um, but also pockets. Um, if I was gonna carry multiple things, flashlight, whatever, and if I just had one pocket on each side, I have a knife and wallet and keys and a uh, marker or his pen or whatever, it just gets so difficult if I need to reach in there to get my keys and it's just like, I got to reach pack with my knife and all this stuff and I didn't like it. So I like separating things out. Uh, also with cell phones, depending on your flashlight, you know, you could have some crazy bezel on it and be scratching up your uh, phone if you keep it in that pocket. Then maybe you keep it in the other pocket and you got your knife scratching up your phone, whatever. So I like separation. Um, these pants allow that. Uh, a, bit, a thing I see people talking about is that this pocket is uh, too close because your clip could go like this over the pocket. I never find that happening for myself when I'm just putting stuff in. Uh, I'm sure it could happen, but it's not a big issue for me necessarily that it covers the pocket because it never really does for me. But the issue is, um, especially for a cell phone, if you have a flashlight, so I have my flashlight in this other pocket, and I'll get to this other pocket in a second here, but if you had your flashlight in uh, your typical pocket, this one, this clip is right in the way of pulling out your cell phone. Um, so if you wanted to use this pocket, which is really designed great, it's a good size for a cell phone. If it's a big phone, um, then you're gonna be scratching your, uh, your screen. Uh, if you carry your phone with your screen towards your leg, which I almost always do. If you carry your phone with the screen out, from your leg and want to use this pocket, then you're okay, that's fine. Um, and you're not really gonna be running into trouble if you have a case. Uh, if you don't have a case, you may be scratching up the back of your phone. So this is kind of a, a poorly designed, placed pocket. It could have been a little lower or a little over more or something, but um, it's here. So I have another pair of 5.11s, the Strike Pants, that have a pocket like this that I love too, and I put my cell phone in it always. And it's a little over from this pocket, so I don't have that issue. But with these pants, I do have that issue. However, I'd rather have the extra pockets than not. And on these pants specifically, we have this other little pocket back here that kind of alleviates some of that problem. So these two pockets are good size. Um, this one, you know, standard pocket, pretty deep. And this one, uh, not quite as big. I'm about maxed out on the pocket depth here, but I have a Galaxy S7 Edge. It just gulps it up. I'll, uh, I'll, sh I'll show it here. I'm, I'm recording on it right now, but I'll show it here in a second. So these have a little bit of extra, um, you know, like Cordura or something on the pocket for if those wear out. I've never had an issue where my pockets actually wore out. So I think that's kind of more of a marketing ploy than anything. But maybe, you know, depending on if you have like crazy G10 scales and crazy clip, maybe you wear that stuff out. I don't, but maybe it's a thing. Uh, also, it had, these pants have uh, two rear pockets. So I'll show the other side because I have this, uh, my lapel mic on this side. So this other side, you have a standard, kind of like a jean back pocket here. Uh, and that's great for whatever, using a back pocket. I don't use my back pockets for hardly anything, uh, typically, because I carry my uh, wallet in my front pocket. Uh, and my back pocket, I would just rather than be streamlined, be, be thin. I don't like Velcro straps and bulkiness back there. I'd rather just be comfort, comfortable sitting. And these pants are really comfortable. So they're good for sitting. Um, and then you have an additional pocket up here, which is for, uh, you know, AR mags or AR pouch or you could fit pistol mags. I think you can fit 308 mags. Let me go grab one here in a second. One sec. So yeah, boom, here we go. And sorry about that. Filming didn't feel that awkward, but then I was just watching the replay of this video and me like stroking my butt and stuff was probably really weird for you guys, but uh, it is what it is. So here it is. Here's the 308. This is the uh, 25, 20 rounder, 20 rounder, 308. So as opposed to, you know, your, uh, Standard AR-15 mag, it's a little bigger. So it does fit a 308 mag. Uh, it's snug, but it fits it nice. Um, and it's really well positioned. So if you're out there running some whatever with your AR, 
it's just a nice quick reload so it's nice so that's with the 308 and then here we'll just show it with a uh, standard PMAG 30 fits in there good too good grip on it now something like a surefire 60 round maybe not so okay well it would fit it's a little awkward but yeah so your standard uh double stack uh 5.56 or 308 mags fit perfect in there. So that's basically it for the features of the pant. Uh, and uh, God, I, I, I try not to make these videos so long, but they always go long. I talk too much and I, I promise I'll try to trim that down. Uh, they have ripstop nylon. They are Teflon, uh, Teflon coated, I guess, but that stuff, you know, that and even DWR, I feel like it never really lasts long. So right when it's new, you can do all the cool water stuff and it beads off. Um, let me try that here in a second. We'll see how it does. But uh, and that, that's basically that's basically it for the pant. Great pant, um, comfortable. Doesn't look too tactical. Just kind of nice. Fits well. Um, I'm a pretty average sized guy. These are 32 by 32. True accurate fit for me. And yeah, what else? Uh, YKK zippers. Uh, this has. I'm wearing a gun right now. So belt loops aren't as crazy big as a lot of your normal tactical pants though there is a nice big uh rear one if you can see that sorry if that's awkward again um and it has a single button um normal style button let me uh see if i can show it here so this is the uh normal style button you know not a snap so that's fine with me and yeah, so let's do, let's pour a little water on these things and see how they do, and then I'll kind of close All it up. All right, so let's see how we do here. It does okay. That soaked in a little more here. So, I don't know, not quite. I think they mislead you a little bit on how water resistant they are. It sheds some, but any kind of higher wear area like my thighs, it just kind of soaks in so definitely not waterproof or water resistant even but maybe a little bit when they're new and fresh all right all right so i think that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about uh sorry for the long video again but hey congratulations you made it to the end um the other thing i wanted to mention that i forgot earlier is that these pants do ride a little lower than i think a lot of other tactical type pants i see a lot of complaints and reviews and stuff that they ride lower uh, and that the crotch is not as long. And I think that's just more of a standard, uh, kind of like a jean cut thing, which I don't have any issue with at all. Maybe I already wear my pants a little lower. So it seems fine to me, but to note, if you're looking for a uh, higher waisted pant, this probably, these ones probably aren't for you. Uh, all right, well, thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate all the comments. Let me know if you like tactical pants, review, video. If you made it this far, I'm guessing you did. Anybody that hated it didn't make it this far. But if, if you liked it, cool, let me know. Give me a like, uh, give me a comment down below. If there's a pant, pants, is there a singular of pants? If there's a pant, if there's a pair of pants that uh, you're interested in, want me to review, maybe let me know. And maybe I have them, maybe I don't, maybe I could pick them up, maybe I could get them. Um, all right, so again, links below, and feel free to ask any questions. Thank you for watching. Peace.